We're here with new Ice Flyers head coach Kevin Hasselberg. Um, first day of camp, what are your thoughts so far? I'm excited. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are traveling a lot of miles to get here and and uh, considering uh, everything that they've gone through to, uh, to get them ready for this moment, I thought the pace was high. Um, I thought there's good enthusiasm out there. The guys uh, are very passionate about the game and you can see that. So, um, you know, day one's in the books and I, I couldn't be more excited about the group that's here. It's outstanding. Uh, it's a bit of a tricky situation with how short camp is. How are you handling that? Yeah, it's 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 part of the process. I think you just got to be prepared uh, before you get into camp. You know the timelines that you have to work with, and and uh, it's critical that you you make notes and and you watch closely. So um, we have some very difficult decisions, and uh, you know every one of these young men are, are good people uh, here for the right reasons and. And I have no doubt that they would uh, wear an Ice Flyers jersey with a lot of pride and, and uh, uh, wear it properly. But uh, unfortunately, it's a part of the business and, and something we don't look forward to, but it's got to get done. And uh, if there's a couple themes right now with the roster, it's a uh, high-end experience and just a lot of size out there. Um, what, were you, like, what were your mindset putting together this roster? Yeah, you know, it, it's... Uh, it's interesting to, to note that when you put together the roster, you're, you know, you, you have a vision of what you want the players to look like and, and how you want them to perform. But really, at the end of the day, you're you're looking for the best players. If they end up being six foot five uh, or five foot eight, it doesn't really matter. I think what's critical is is the skill level, um, the character, and uh, the compete level of these players. If we can find those three things, we can mold them into something special. And, you know, I, I've seen some smaller guys out there that play a big game. I see some bigger guys that uh, have a tremendous amount of skill. And, you know, now I, I think moving forward, if we can find some, some chemistry and some line combinations and let them build on that, uh, the confidence is just going to grow through camp here. And, you know, it'll be uh, get ready, set, go when uh, the regular season kicks off and, and they lift another banner into the rafters here. All right, and uh, last question. You've got a couple guys in camp that you've coached before. Has that helped with, uh, has Taylor, having Taylor Bourne and Igor Leoninko in camp helped with, like, if anyone's had any questions or is it just a little bit of familiarity that's just helped you in, ease into your first pro job? Yeah, you know what, these are, these are two young men that uh, performed very well for me back in junior. Um, and no different than anybody else here. They're, they're competing for a roster spot. Uh, I think everybody that uh, has done any research on this program knows that it's a, a very special place to play. It's got tremendous ownership, uh, great support. Um, the staff and everybody involved with the team are phenomenal. So, you know, I, I think both Igor and Taylor are, are here uh, because they want to be here and they want to perform. They want to be at the next level. And, um, you know, it, it certainly adds a little bit of comfort knowing the players, but they still have to perform. And at the end of the day, we're going to keep the, uh, the top 18 players in camp and, and they know that and uh, we're, we're up for the challenge. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.